Hey guys, welcome to this video. <laughs> Uh, this is a really off-topic video. I'm in the middle of making the videos for the summer. I have a whole summer outlined. But, I discovered something while I was editing a video coming out in July. It's called, Five Nickelodeon, well, like, the basic general, general idea of it, I, I don't really have a title for it yet. The basic general idea of it is, I just talk about five upcoming upcoming Nickelodeon movies that I can't wait to see but I discovered something there are actually two unnamed like currently un unnamed Nick to tunes films coming out now what this means first of all we're gonna clarify that uh like you know how back in the day like 2000s really late 1990s how like almost every single Nick, every single Nicktoon out there got got a movie, right? There was the Rugrats movie and because that did so well, like every every show got a movie. And it it was always really fun to see. It was like basically a tradition. If 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 a show is doing big or is about to do like a big story or can do a big story, they're gonna turn it into a movie and put it in theaters. It was basically tradition for Nickelodeon back then. But of course, and then the Spongebob effect happened, where if a show doesn't do great, as soon as it comes out, like, uh, exponential, as soon as it comes out, if it doesn't do g great, like, sp if it doesn't have the success that Spongebob had, as soon as it comes out, then it's automatically a failure for Nickelodeon. But, and that's one of the reasons why they stopped making movies for Nicktoons. Like, you can see, after the 2010s, and heck, even the late... Or even the late 2000s, you can tell that they really stopped making um, Nicktoon movies. Another reason is because Hey Arnold the movie <laughs> really did bad. That's one of the reasons, and that really makes me depressed. Uh, but money is another reason. They cost so much to make, and some of them didn't make a lot back. And as a matter of fact, hey Arnold, the movie is considered a financial failure. No. They better not mess up the jungle movie. Anyway, but um, while I was looking at the upcoming films for Paramount Animation, right? For 2018, they have Gnomeo and Juliet 2 and then, and then Amusement Park. On March 22nd, 2019 and July 31st, 2020... Though those slots are both dedicated to films based on Nicktoons. Those two there's gonna be two films based on Nicktoons. But we don't know what those Nicktoons are. Now there's a lot Did I just Okay no. <laughs> I thought I I thought I broke a cord, but it just unplugged. There's a lot of as a matter of fact, honestly, I'm probably one of the only ones who's paying actually paying attention to this, but I, I'm kind of shocked. They're they're really starting to make Nicktoons again. I think it's because of Paramount Animation. They they now have an entire company dedicated to animated movies, and they need they need an animation lineup to keep the company alive. So they're making films based on Nicktoons again. Um, on August second, two thousand nineteen, there's going to be another SpongeBob movie coming out, and. As much as I hate this show, I really think it's good how they're making a movie off of it. Um, the Loud House is getting a movie on February 7th, 2020. I hate this show. I'm going to hate the movie. Nothing will ever change my opinion that I hate this show. But I'm not going to convince you to come on my side. Whatever. But it's a really good step in the right direction for Nickelodeon movies and Paramount Animation. I mean, they just started back in 2011. They're already doing great things. I mean, Monster Trucks was only their second movie and that sucked uh but anyway uh they're making movies based on nicktoons again uh that's really good but i'm here to talk about that but i'm also here to what 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 nicktoons could those movies be now i i've thought for a little bit on this but uh hold on <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought, <laughs> I thought, 
I cannot talk at all. <laughs> I've thought for a little bit on this. There we go. And really, I've narrowed it down to it can really only be a modern show. Unless they're bringing back a certain show, then it, it's, it has to be a modern show. Also, they're making a movie uh, based on Henry Danger. The This is the first live-action Nick show to get a theatrical movie. And it's, it's also the first Ann Schneider show to get a theatrical movie. They're, they're really, like, playing no games with these Nickelodeon movies now. Now that they have Paramount Animation. But Henry Danger isn't animated, but whatever. Henry Danger, I don't really care for. It's, compared to the other live-action shows, it's tolerable. It's actually... It and the Thundermans, in my opinion, are the best live-action shows on Nickelodeon right now. No, they will never compare to like Carly or Drake and Josh or anything like that. But anyway, it's it's weird because as of right now, uh, for they can't they can't do one on Alvin and the Chipmunks because that's a third-party property. I mean, you can make a TV movie out of that, sure, but. You can't, you can't really make a theatrical movie off of it, especially considering there's a big, not necessarily great, but there is a big um, theatrical series for Alvin and the Chipmunks right now. So that really means there can only be a couple of ones. Or they could make a show based on their preschool, preschool um, lineup. Like, I could see... Oh my god, Max and Ruby's still going. <laughs> I know their pants got revealed, but still, it's still going. <laughs> anyway, getting off track. I can see Bubble Guppies getting a movie or Paw Patrol. Maybe Mutton Stuff. No, 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 no. Not those, not those. Shimmer and Shine or Nell and the Princess Knight. Because don't, days don't, those don't, those shows don't spend like half the episode breaking the fourth wall asking children stuff. Those would make perfect movies because they, they, they're basically regular Nicktoons except it's a little dumbed down for little kids. But for their acquired programming, um, they can't really do anything with their acquired programming. Maybe Regal Academy. Maybe. Hell no for Cuckoo Harajuku. Hell no. <laughs> but maybe Regal Academy. I, actually, I, what, what is that show? I have no idea what this show is. Kind of looks, telling from the logo, it kind of looks like Winks Club. Uh, so far the TV movies um, we have our Hey Arnold the Jungle movie. I cannot wait for that. That's coming out this year. Rocco's Modern Life Static Cling. That's coming out next year. And then the ones without dates, specifically two. Are Escape from Mr. Limoncello's Library and an untitled, untitled, untitled Invader Zim film. It's coincidental that there's only two without specific dates, and also there in Paramount Animation's lineup, there's two, there's two slots based on Nicktoons with no names without dates. Well, they have dates, but they don't have names, and it just says. Untitled film based on a Nicktoon property. Now, I can't see Escape from Mr. Limoncello's library being one, considering that's based on a book, and it's always... It has been iterated multiple times that it's going to be a TV movie. But, the Invader Zim, the Invader Zim movie, I... That might be in theaters. It... I don't know. <laughs> but we also got to take a look at their future programming. You see, now... There's an animated series based on Henry Danger coming up. It doesn't have a date, but whatever. And then, really the only... Welcome to the Wayne. That that could be the second one, so... Welcome to the Wayne is like a really good... Have you seen the trailer? It's coming out this July. Have you seen it? Uh, It looks really good, and it looks like one of the... It's... I, it's hard to explain. Hold on, I can just click on this and read the synopsis. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. 
The show centers around three kids who go on a journey to, to discover the secrets of the Wayne and everything, where everything is more than it seems. That would make a great movie. It's, if the series finale be, is a TV movie, like, they did... For the series finales of the older Nicktoons back in the day when they made TV movies out of everything, pretty much, uh, the... Most of those movies were the were the series finale to the to the show. Like, for example, uh, the first SpongeBob movie is technically the series finale to the show. It except it kept going on, much like much like the Simpsons movie is the series finale to the show. Canonically, it's the series finale, but it kept going. If it didn't kept going, that would have been the series finale. And because it got cancelled, Hey Arnold, the movie is the series finale to Hey Arnold. Technically no, canonically no, but tech but release date wise, yes. Um, I'm thinking off the top of my head, the Wild Thornberries isn't one. Uh the none of the Rugrats movies are, I don't think. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> The point is, some, if not most, of the movies that Nick, the Nicktoons were based on back in the day are the series finales to those respective shows. Now, I can see, considering the plot, the trailer, and the actual miniseries of Welcome to the Wayne, I can see the movie being the series finale. Uh, the, the, the later movie, actually. That, that could be reserved for a Welcome to the Wayne movie, and the Welcome to the Wayne movie could be the series finale to the show. But you, have, you also have to consider the date and how long it's running because the untitled Nicktoons film is the second one is coming out July thirty first, twenty twenty. That is exactly, pretty much exactly three years after it aired. That would be a really short show if it was the series finale. That'd be a really really short show. But I mean, Gravity Falls had two seasons, but it took. I want it. No, 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 no. Four years. Four years. Okay, so my my the most probable thing is that the that the 2020 untitled Nicktoon film is gonna be reserved for Welcome to the Wayne and the well and the Welcome to the Wayne movie that's come that m speculation that will most likely be that slot will probably be the series finale. Now. It baffles me on the 2019 one because they already have a. What's it? They already have a. Eh, they already have a Nicktoon movie coming out that year, but then again, The Loud House is also coming out in 2020. So, but, but 2019 is so close. That's only two years, and the SpongeBob movie is already coming out then. So you have you gotta take your time to look at the lineup. What movie could be coming? Like, what movie based on a Nicktoon could literally be coming in 2019, two years from now? M my only guess is the Invader Zim movie. That's the only logical explanation because it's it's in development so much but not too much to where they can make a teaser trailer out of it. But it... The current animated lineup of Nickelodeon is Spongebob, that already has a movie. The Loud House, that already has a movie. Bunsen is the Beast, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the series. Um, mm -hmm. Bunsen is a Beast, I pray not. I seriously pray not. But Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, an animated movie about that, I could see. It's probably not likely because of the live action shows, and I'm pretty sure they don't want to get those confused with their live action movies. But, however, if you take a look at their dropped programming, like, you know, the programming they just dumped on Nicktoons? Hold on. Let me find it. Oh, wow. Not on here. Uh, ah, here we go. Yeah, the Fairly Odd Parents is still going. <laughs> still going. That that could be a possibility. Uh, the Fairly Odd Parents has seen better days. It really has. But 
it could be saved with a movie. I, I could see them doing a movie out of the Fairly Odd Parents. Like, have the two longest running iTunes of all time have movies in the same year Fairly Odd Parents and SpongeBob. And then have the currently, the. Have the two newest and most well received movies come out in 2020. So, yeah. What are your thoughts? This has been a really long discussion, 15 minutes going, but. What are your thoughts? My thoughts personally. For the 2019 Untitled Nicktoon, that's either going to be the Invader Zim movie that we literally know nothing about except we know what's happening. Or it's it'd be a film based on the Fairly Odd Parents. But we don't we we don't know anything about it. Once again, I highly, highly another one, highly doubt it'd be based on a classic Nick tune. Because Red and Stimpy is getting a movie. But it's a short film. It's a short film, and it's going to be aired in front of the third SpongeBob movie. So, it's a it's a film in theaters, but it's not a feature film. It's not the main event. It's the appetizer. There's, I'm looking through their lineup right now, and there's literally nothing in here that that I could see as a movie. They have expressed interest in bringing the Rugrats back, though, and I have said if they were bringing it back, I'm pretty sure they do another Rugrats movie. I said it in the interview. I had with the, one of the cast members, Eric Reyes. Love you, Eric. But uh, I said, I said, if they bring the Rugrats back, they they're probably gonna do a movie. And they have said that they're they're most if they if they keep doing reboots and revivals and stuff, they're most likely a hundred percent sure they're gonna do Rugrats. Uh. So yeah, for the twenty twenty one, I I see. I see Welcome to the Wayne the movie or a uh, fourth Rugrats movie. And for the 2019, Invader Zim or Fairly Odd Parents. That's all I can see. We haven't taken into account the live action Nickelodeon movie, like the big crossover movie. That could be one of them, but that movie is currently in development hell, so who knows? But anyway, that 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 this is really the end. So what are your thoughts? Um about these two untitled Nick Nicktoons movies. I mean, they could be two parters of the crossover movie, and one could be coming out in 2019, one 2020. I haven't really thought about that. No, 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 that could be a possibility, because what they were originally going to do with the third Avengers movie, they were splitting it into two parts, and then part one was coming out in 2018? I think? Yeah, 2018 and then part two in 2019. Uh, something like that, but it was... Point is, it was back-to-back -back years, okay? Now, for the live-action, um, well, we don't know if it's live-action, but for the, we're just gonna call it the Nicktoons movie. For the Nicktoons movie, the crossover movie, uh, they could do that. They, it could be a two-parter movie, and then part one coming out in 2019, and part two coming out in 2020. That could be a possibility, too. It's just, we don't know. It, I just saw the slots, and I saw the slots on Wikipedia, and then I looked it up on Google to see if it was official, and I saw, like, two or three sites that, that were saying, yeah, there's gonna be two, un there's two Untitled Nicktoons movie, a Loud House movie, a third Spongebob movie, and Amusement Park. Here you go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about this, but th this conversation isn't over, uh. I don't know. I'm just finding this out. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who actually pays attention to this stuff. Plus, I needed the research. Uh, but what are your thoughts? What movies do you think are coming out on those two empty slots based on Nicktoons? Um, do you think my predictions will probably be correct? I mean, I'm pretty sure some of them will be correct. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, take care.